Okay, he's Meg here, and we're doing another video on Merlin's uh, Suron Light B here. Um, so the you, you can see it's been it's uh, kind of like in pieces right now, but uh, um, today we're gonna install a fender extension is what we're gonna install. So hopefully this works. Uh, so this here is the Mucky Nuts uh, rear fender apparatus dealy. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Hold on. Okay, it's a, the Monkey Nuts Butt Fender is what it's called. So I found this guy on Amazon for about $11. And it's about the same shape as the rear fender. Um, and you can kind of fold it too. There's this kind of like fold mark, so you can kind of shape it a little bit. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna um, install it this way, upside down, with the black part facing up. And all this stuff down here will get dirty. Um, hopefully this will do the trick. Uh, so the problem with the Sauron Light B is... Uh, the rear fender sucks. Um, I, I guess you can kind of get away with not having a front fender, but the but the rear fender um, it's just going to be slinging dirt and mud and rocks all over your back and your helmet while you're riding. Um, it's not so bad right now because it's summertime, but yeah, if you're going to be riding in like kind of muddy and wet conditions, uh, not not very pleasant riding. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you now because I, I've ridden this thing in the mud and it sucks, dude. Um, so if you look at the fender of like other motorcycles, the fender extends past the front rear tire. Um, see, so you can see the, the Kawasaki ZR7, the tail goes all, all the way past the tire. Um, and sorry, I don't have a tire on there right now to, to, to demonstrate, but um, when we get it on there, um, I'll show you. Um, and then there's a, there's a KLX140 here. Um, so you can see the the fender it sticks out almost pretty much almost to the whole whole rear wheel um, and the same thing with the with my victory impulse here the fender goes almost all the way almost um, a lot of like kind of dirty bikes they almost go all the way so the KLX goes all the way to the back so I think I don't know I guess that that's a Kawasaki too though so um, anyway um, so the the purpose of this video is we're going to try to extend the, the stock fender. Uh, there's, a, there's, a, uh, there's a couple options to, to do this. Um, I think in UK there's, I think Stag Motorcycles, I think, Stag MX, they sell a carbon fiber uh, upgraded fender. Like it's, it's made out of carbon fiber and it's a lot longer. Um, so I, I think it looks kind of cool, this small fender, but it doesn't, it's not very functional. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the we're gonna cut the fender to fit place over the stock fender. Yeah, we're gonna place it over the stock fender, and then hopefully that will make it longer, longer and protect you your backside from getting all dirt and stuff. Um, and the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna rivet it. Um, I'm gonna use these rivets here and this rivet gun right here. I'm gonna rivet it on. Um, you could probably zip tie it. If you wanted to, but I think uh, I think the rivets will look better, um, and then we can kind of bend this a little bit. Um, the problem is that it may be a little floppy, so if I think if you bend it a little bit, it will be less floppy. And plus, this is kind of like a little bit bent too. So, so that's the dealie. Um, let's see. Uh, so, what else are we gonna need for this? Some scissors. That's what we're gonna need. We're gonna need scissors to cut this because, as you can see, this thing. Is, so what the what this thing is designed to do is designed to uh, to kind of clip onto the rear uh, the rear of a bicycle seat because you know the bicycle seat has like these two little kind of rails that the that go onto the seat post and it's supposed to like just kind of just you just throw it up under there and um, so we're kind of not using it for its intended purpose but. Uh, I said for eleven dollars, uh, can't go wrong. <laughs> um, also, if you mess this up, you can probably get a new rear fender 
pretty inexpensive from Unicycle. But I think they do have them. They have the fender and they have a little the cover on the bottom here. Um, yeah, if you're wondering why it's kind of in pieces, uh, we were installing this tugger strap last time. Does look kind of weird it's in the center of the seat i wish it was a little bit further back but um yeah so all right so the first thing to do is uh, we're going to go trim this so it fits um like right on top of here so basically basically i think we're just going to chop off yeah we're going to i'm going to chop this part off first with the scissors i'm going to cut this straight here and then we're going to try to cut it as close as possible to this as we can. Um, I, I, I took the fender off. I could e pretty easily take the fender off right now, but I, I don't see a really need to take the fender off. Um, yeah. Um, so, so what I'm thinking is we're going to cut this to fit this, and then we're going to go drill maybe like six holes in this. I think would be fun, or seven maybe. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe like. Whoa. Yeah, we'll do four right here, and maybe one here in the center, maybe two in the center. Yeah, let's do six. We'll do six holes, and then uh, and then we'll rivet it together. And then we'll use a underneath the fender. We'll use um, uh, washers. We'll put washers underneath so it doesn't like it doesn't uh, rip right through the plastic. Uh, it, it'll disperse the the force of the rivets uh, a little better. Uh, hopefully it doesn't fall off too. So. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to try to use as much of this as possible. Um, and then hopefully that will do the trick. All right. So, all right. So first I'm going to, um, first we'll cut this and then we'll go drill the fender where the holes will be. And then we'll go, we'll put this on top of this and then we'll figure out where the holes we need to drill on this one are. Um, or we can just we can just put it on top. We'll lay it on top and we'll just drill it, and then uh, we'll use this as kind of like a stencil. And then um, rather than trying to put it on top and then just trying to make sure you drill it and keep it straight the whole time, I think we're just going to drill. I'm just going to drill this. Use this as a stencil, then drill this, and then we'll rivet onto this. Got it? That's the plan. All right. So uh, so first I'm going to go cut this to fit there. All right. Here's my help. All right, so if you're wondering, I bought this in May of 2019, a couple months ago. It was it's roughly $11, um, and uh, and it, I got it on Amazon. So I bought it with a bunch of stuff. So the shipping was like free, and that, those are some kind of pictures of it. See, that's how it's supposed to be attached to a bicycle, but we're not attaching it to a bicycle. Um, I did be I did buy another one, but it does it doesn't work. It's this one. It's called an ass saver, but. Um, I don't think it would work. It's too, it's kind of too narrow. Um, the, this one, this one's shape is like exactly like the stock fender. Like literally if I was to overlay this on top of that, see, it, it pretty much matches it perfectly. So I think it'll be fine. Um, we may need to, I don't know. Oh yeah. You know what? We may need to add another rivet. You have to add a rivet down here. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. We gotta put some here on the sides, so so we can get the side in, because um, this is a little bit too big for this. But uh, that should be fine. That should be fine. I thought about putting it. There's a little bit. There's a little piece that sticks underneath the seat here, um, but I, I don't. It, it'll like have some kind of weird um, bend in it. So we're, we're just gonna put it on top of this and rivet it. Um, hopefully we can. Yeah. Hopefully we can put some of it here. Maybe we can use a zip tie it on the side. Would be fine. We don't. We don't have to rivet it. So, so I think that'll be the plan. We'll put six rivets on top, and then we'll drill two holes on the side, and then we'll um, we'll zip tie the sides on. I think that'll work. So it'll be it'll be el ghetto, but we'll, we'll never know. We'll, we'll have to see what it looks like at the end. But hopefully, it'll be functional. All right. Okay, so that's what I've come up with. That looks pretty close to the stock fender. That's a little bit wider, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna zip tie the sides down there. Um, yeah, we'll try. We'll try to use as much as we can. I think if we zip tie it on the sides, it'll give it a little more rigidity. Like I said it's pretty skinny. It's like like two or three sheets of paper thick. You know, um, it looks like it's made out of high density polyethylene too. It's pretty strong stuff, but it's it's really thin. Um, 
So uh, also, I thought about using Kydex. Uh, I think Kydex would work pretty good for this because in Kydex you can you can form with a with a heat gun. Um, that may be what we have to do um, uh, when we get it on there. And if if it looks a little rough, we can mold it with uh, with the heat gun. Maybe hope. I, I don't know how this would respond to heat though. <laughs> that's a good that's a good question. It may be Kydex. I don't know. I don't think so. Um, but you can kind of bend it here. Um, so this is these are the parts that I cut off. Basically, I cut that little tail out, and then um, I cut it in a little bit here, and then um, and then I cut the tips a little bit. So that's that's what I did to get it to look like this. Um, and then now uh, now we're gonna go drill some holes in our fender. And uh, so first uh, I gotta find out what rivet we're gonna use. Okay, here's big here. So we will be using this drill here with a quarter inch bit with a quarter inch aluminum rivet. So it's a good thing it's aluminum. Uh, it's a little blingy compared to the bike, so uh, we'll probably put some black paint on top of it um, when we got it on there. Um, but it's aluminum, so it won't rust, so that's the good thing. Um, also, I may want to get some uh, um, some washers for this, but we'll do that later. Um, all right, so so the next thing to do is to figure out where we're going to drill the holes. So uh, we'll do two here. Let's do two, maybe like half an inch from the tip, one right here, one right here, and then, then the corresponding ones here, and then we'll do one like maybe right here, and then right here at the end. Maybe maybe we might have to do one more here for a seventh one in the middle, but uh, we'll see. Um, if we do, if we do it, it'll already be on there and we'll just drill the whole thing, so. All right, so, uh, so let's go do it. Um, I think what I'm going to do is to, I'm going to mark everything that I want to punch real quick. And to do that, I'll enlist the aid of the uh, spring-loaded Harbor Freight punch here. So I think I'm going to have to hold it underneath because it might break the fender if I just try to push it. So I'm just going to use this to mark all the sections that we're going to, um, that we're going to um, make a hole in. There's nothing, nothing too scientific about it. I'm just kind of just looking at it and I want one there, 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 you know, um, I'm not even doing any kind of measurements, so just kind of okay, eyeballing. Okay, so I've scribed where I want to make the the holes. We're gonna go drill them now, and then use that as a template. Okay, so there's the holes, the six holes that I drilled. Um, I tried to clean them up as best I could. But this stuff does not drill very cleanly. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. All right, so uh, let's make sure our rivets fit. Get our rivet here. It's gonna go on top of this perfect looks good that's how they're all gonna look and it doesn't stick out anywhere it's perfect this one's a little small okay so now the next thing we have to do is uh, we need to uh, drill the holes in the new fender that, um, that correspond to this so basically uh, so we're just going to hold it over there. Actually, I'm just what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get a, a gold marker and then I'm just going to going to line it up and then just poke um, you know mark it under from underneath. Use it like a stencil. You know? Okay, I went and marked it. I kind of had to do it twice. Um, yeah, so the first set of marks were too much to the left, so I went and made a second set right there. Um, boy, I'm not really sure which ones. Uh, I think the ones on the right, I guess. Yeah, so the ones on the right are the ones that we're going to use. I should have used a different color for the second set. <laughs> um, so you can actually kind of look underneath the holes. And see this little line here. You can actually use this to line it up. So it's pretty, it's pretty close. It still looks like it's a little off, but yeah, looks, I think it's okay. It doesn't have to be super perfect, but you don't want it to be too crooked. Uh, one thing, I guess one one thing we could have done is rivet, rivet one of the center ones first, and then line it up, and then yeah, just line it up, and then uh, and then just drill it from underneath, like just like that. But, uh, it's okay, we're just gonna drill all the holes right now. Or, um, 
Yeah, we could probably do that too. That's actually a good idea. So maybe I'll, I'm just going to drill. I'm going to drill this one right here first and then see how it all lines up. So there's one. I'm just going to drill the others, that's fine. The ones on the right. So I'm just going to put it on a table. I think it's easier if you just kind of use it on a table for support. It's really flimsy, so. Okay, so uh, so I went ahead and drilled the holes. It looks like they match up. So if uh, if it gets kind of like, kind of like this on top, what you can do is go and get some cutters and just cut that little stuff sticking out. I apologize for the, the washing machine sounds. Just to clean it up a bit. Make it look pretty. Plus, I'm pretty sure the rivet won't go on there very well if that stuff is there. So it looks like it lines up fine. Uh, we'll find out when I stick the rivets in there. 